hey what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see today i did not take an intro video for this video but i decided to insert some um snaps of me as well as pictures so that you guys could see how the hair actually turned out i absolutely absolutely loved it on me i hope you guys do too so if you want to know how i achieve this look please do continue watching this video today's wig is from superb wigs so inside the box is obviously the hair and then i received wig caps there's two of them always and then um bands to make the wig more secure and then this hair tie so they did send me a 13 by 40 part wig um which came in the color 316 it is 12 inches and it was um um pre-plugged and i think the knots were bleached i did not take notice of that but as you can see the construction of the wig you do have combs inside which i really actually even use but yeah this is the wig we're working with today now i'm going to start the dyeing process so i did use these two revlon dyes in the color 05 and 61 i did use a bowl or whatever you see <laughs> to mix them both together so inside as you can see you'll get two bottles i don't really know what they're called or what's inside of them i didn't take notice of that but you do get those two bottles shampoo and then you also get gloves inside of the box so as you can see here i'm mixing the two dyes together just mixing all these four bottles together so that i get a consistent color because i don't want to use like one color I don't want to dye the hair one color and then use the other color afterwards because then it won't look good i feel so if i mix them together then i get like a consistent color throughout so as you have seen from the title down below and the thumbnail i'm going for like an ash blonde color just to make it more um dark skin friendly because 316 hair is a bit yellow anyway just mix and stir up the two um dyes very well and then after that you're gonna start the process of applying the dye onto the hair i don't really have like a set guideline or process on how i did this just make sure that you apply the dye evenly throughout the hair so i start and um on the hairline basically and then just work my way down but make sure make sure that you cover the entire wig and then i'll show you what it looks like after i've applied um the dye on the entire wig anyway after applying the dye you must let um it sit for about 25 to 30 minutes and then i'll show you guys also how the hair looks after that 25 to 30 minutes i personally left it for 30 minutes so this is how it looks after the 30 minutes hey guys once again so this is how the wig turned out it's this cute um ash blonde wig it's giving me i need to do like pink makeup today and that's exactly what i'm gonna do like be a body that's exactly what i'm gonna do and also excuse me for um the lighting because i'm at home and the lighting here is not that great so um as i said today we are working with um superb wigs um they sent me this teapot wig um a 316 and obviously we saw um that i already dyed it i'm gonna so now i'm gonna get to the parts where i install it so as you see i've already colored my lace well i'll start by cutting the lace but i did remove a bulk of that part because i was out of frame as you saw and then here i'm just getting a feel of the lace and i'll show you guys what i don't like as i said my baby hair comes all the way almost to my eyebrows and i always have to apply um the glue on that um, baby hair but here as you can see i'm just clipping up the hair um so that i can start the process of applying the glue i'm just doing this so that um the hair does not interfere with me um laying down my wig and yeah
so for this install i did decide to use the black got to be gel and i will be applying it to the other perimeter of my head and then afterwards i will be going in with the blasting free spray to just give it a more secure feeling i guess just to make the wig more secure um yeah After all of that, I will be going in with my hair dryer throughout the perimeter of my head. This just helps melt the lace and basically the wig down so that I get a better install. Okay, so now that's done, I'm just gonna lay my wig down and then I'm gonna go do my makeup. Okay, so now I'm gonna go do my eyebrows, lay my blue hair, and then we're gonna finish off my makeup look, and then we're gonna finish off this hair, and yeah. So I'm back, you guys, and the lighting is about gone, but it took me so long to do my makeup today, but it looks good. So I'm just gonna remove the bands and then take it from there. So that is what we have for now. Hey babe, good luck and fool. Hey babe, good luck and fool. this is the final look um i love it so much but i hate it um i hate the lighting because it's not doing justice to his hair and i hate it for that but this is how everything came so yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video but of this video was me showing you how to dye it to achieve like an ash blonde instead of the yellowy um blonde that the three i mean the 613 is so um yeah i hope you like this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe um also follow me on my instagram which will be right here and if you do follow me on my instagram you would have seen all the snaps i took up this hair already because <laughs> i really do like it like i really really do like it i just don't agree with this lighting and you know and this is the only lighting i have at this point but you know what it's okay thank you for watching you guys catch you guys next time <laughs>